Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here and I am sitting down <laughs> because I am still not feeling well. Like yesterday I had a little, another miniature relapse where I threw up and I couldn't work yesterday. It's Sunday, December 3rd, the day before my 25th birthday and I'm still not feeling good. I have like shortness of breath. If I stand for too long, I feel dizzy. I feel nauseated. There's Nola. Um, what else? What other symptoms am I having? Um, I just feel like dizzy, nausea, lightheaded. Like I feel like all the things that would be described as like morning sickness, that's what I have. My doctor asked me, well, it's not my doctor, but the doctor when I went to the doctor a week ago, Asked me if I was pregnant several times. And I was like, no, I'm not pregnant. There is no possible way that I am pregnant. That's not what's happening here. Not sure what's going on. <clears throat> I feel okay. Um, I already feel like I'm starting to get hot, which makes me feel dizzy and lightheaded. Um, I did refresh my hair. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and take this part off. That's just kind of holding it down. Um, I just oiled my scalp and like kind of just like re-moisturized it and put it back in the same um, protective style. I'm going to be protective styling like just nonstop, I think, for the next year until I'm 26. Just because I'm really trying to retain length. And it's just so easy and convenient just to have my hair back and away from my face. And I find that the style that I currently have is the closest thing to me shaving my head which makes my life very simple and easy so that's what I'm trying to do just low maintenance slow manipulation I have some water here I'm trying to drink water stay hydrated like I've been doing all the things I've been resting you know <sighs> but it's gonna be a uh, get ready with me I need to moisturize my face I already did already cleansed and did step two of my Murad I've been doing it for a month and you can see this is how my skin is looking. I feel like it's really helped my skin. I definitely feel like my pores are smaller. My skin is smoother, like the texture of my skin is better. Um, and my acne has been under control. I find that when I do have a breakout, it's gone within 24 to, to 72 hours. Um, and that I'm getting less scarring from my breakouts since I've been using this Murad system. Um, so yeah, I'm liking these products so far. Let's go ahead and moisturize. I'm going to use their My dog outside or inside? I have the back porch open to let in air. Um, is she inside or outside? Yeah. Well, again, come in. Come in here. Yeah, I see you on You can't have self control. Come in here. You want to act like a crazy girl? All right, so <laughs> Nola is now in the room with me. She has a few toys. She's going to be mad because she was outside barking at it's a pizza man or somebody, somebody delivering food to someone. Anyways, uh, yeah, still not feeling well. Skin's going well. That's what we're talking about. Step three. This is their, the Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. I really like this. So we're going to put some of this on. That's more than enough. A little bit of this goes a long way. Uh, really, little girl? She is jumping around. I'm sure you can hear her. I'm bouncing around the bed. I'm washing all my sheets. I've been cleaning everything, you know. Just trying to get rid of all the germs in my um in my home. I washed all my sheets, took out like all my washcloths, bath. <laughs> Okay, child. <laughs> She's got an attitude. You know, I've just been cleaning everything. Just cleaning all the surfaces, you know. Just trying to make sure that I don't get any more germs. Old germs, new germs. Just trying to get rid of all the germs. 
Um, like I said, I feel, I feel okay right now. I don't feel the greatest. I don't feel horrible. I kind of feel like I shouldn't go to work today, but I feel like I need to get out of the house and I don't know what's going to help me feel better. That's the thing that annoys me the most about how I'm feeling. It's like, what can I do to feel better? Like I eat food. I still don't feel that much better. I drink water. I still don't feel better. I finished all my medicine. I'm honestly really just over it. We're going to be using several new products today as well. We're going to test out some new makeup. Let me put this back. Let me go ahead and change so I don't get overheated because that would be bad. Let me take this robe off. BRB. All right, so I washed this. As you can tell, the stains are gone. Well, there's the same kind of left a stain, but I did wash this um, little night dress I like to wear. Yeah. Um. See, like I'm losing my train of thought. Like this is how you know I'm sick when I I can't even keep a cohesive thought. So we're gonna be trying out several new products. Um, I feel so official because I'm sitting down. I ordered the, like, look, I'm already, like, out of breath. What's happening to me? I'm too young for this. Okay. I ordered the LA Curlers Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. You've been hearing, I'm sure you've been hearing all about this foundation on internet and I watched several of my favorite youtubers um, try this out and review it and give their thoughts this is the deepest shade oh, no not really this is the deepest shade mahogany and um, I saw too much mouth uh, Shanine that's her name Shanine she tried it out and this shade she said made her look oompa loopish I have not tried this out on my face it blended into my hand okay but you know, my hand and my face, that's two different things. So we're going to try this out. I have a feeling it's going to be too light just looking at it in the bottle next to my face. I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit too light. So my plan is to mix it with the Fenty Beauty Foundation in shade 450 if it's too light. So we're going to start with just one pump of this. It comes with a pump. This retails for $6. Again, this is the deepest shade and there are 14 shades available in this foundation. <clears throat> just letting my hair marinate I just literally did the two braids you'll see it but I'm letting my edges kind of reset I didn't wet my hair um only the front got wet in the shower I let it kind of steam just so my scalp could get moisture I just add some moisture back into the hair even though it wasn't dry at all my hair is actually super moisturized so I'm very pleased with this protective style let's go on with one pump it's pretty big and it looks pretty light. I'm gonna use the Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki brush. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna be really light. As you can see, I didn't go in with any primer or anything. Let's just go straight in with this foundation. And yeah, on camera, it's looking way lighter than it does in person. Um, it is quite um, thick, as you can tell, and it's definitely full coverage. So it has a smell to it. It smells like Play-Doh. That's the smell. Yeah, I was like, it smells like Play-Doh. We're gonna go on with one more pump and then I'm gonna mix in the Fenty Beauty on top because this shade is is not it. In person it actually looks like it's kind of matching, but I do have to go to work later, so we need to be presentable.
I do feel like it gets a little bit darker upon drying on your face. Nola June. Sit. Good girl. I'm gonna need you to chill out for a little bit, okay? You know I haven't been feeling well. Just need you to relax, okay? Relax. She's sitting on the floor listening to me. She's so cute. She's such a good dog. She really is. She's super smart. She just likes to go crazy at the most inconvenient times. So, um, yeah, this foundation is very, like, I feel like it's thick, like it blends, but you really have to, like, work it. Work it. Like that. Let me see Elliot's song. Is that what it's called? Good girl. She's laying down now. Yeah, it gives a beautiful finish to the skin. Um, I will say in person, it actually looks like it is a color match for me compared to on camera. It looks a little bit lighter. It gives a really nice finish to the skin. But like I said, we're going to mix in a little bit of the Fenty Beauty with this. And I'm going to focus the Fenty around the perimeter of my face. Yeah, when I get closer, it looks lighter. But you can kind of see the finish. So I'm like almost through this Fenty. Let me shake it up. Why did I put the... Yeah, I'm unorganized right now. So yeah, I'm actually not mad at this foundation. We'll see how it lasts. Again, now it's 12, 13, so let's say I put it on at noon. I have to wear it from 3 to 8, so I'll wear it for a minimum of 8 hours. Um, but yeah, that's two pumps of that foundation alone. Gave me some really, really nice coverage. Um, I wouldn't say that it's a totally matte matte finish. I mean, you can see that my face still has a sheen to it. I would say it's like um, a satin. Yeah, I wouldn't even call this a soft matte. It's like a satin finish. So we're going to go in with um, a pump of Fenty. Just one. Start with one pump of the Fenty. And I'm going to distribute her around the perimeter on this side of my face with the same brush and I'm just like um, dabbing it in. Yeah, wow, the coverage, these two together, bomb, flawless finish. All right, and one pump of Fenty on this side. And I'm mostly doing this just so that the color blends into my skin tone a little bit better. Yeah, the coverage on the LA Girl though alone is great. It really is some good coverage if you can find your shade. Um, I'm gonna lift this up a little bit now. All right, my edges, my edges should be fine now. Cause like I said, I didn't really get my hair wet, wet. The edges got damp because I took a shower and I let my hair like steam while I was in the shower without having on a shower cap or anything. And the edges got a little wet. And then I just scrunched some water into the ends of my hair just to add some moisture. And I sealed it in with some oils and oil mix. All right, so that's what I'm looking like. Um, my first impression is that if you can find your shade, this foundation gives great coverage. We just need to see how long it wears. It has a really nice finish. It looks really good on the skin. Those are my first impressions of the LA Girl Foundation. For $6, you really can't beat that um, the finish and the coverage. Okay. So foundation is done. I don't have any new powders to try out. Nope. So we're going to go on and set this foundation. Let me know if you guys like the fact that I'm sitting down. How do you feel about it? Um, I feel a little bit more secure, better. It's probably easier to see me as well. Um, 
We're gonna set this using my Cody Airspun. Let's use my favorite best powder just to give this foundation like a fair equal shot. So let me grab that. I feel like it's been so long since I put makeup on because I haven't been able to do it consistently from being sick. So I'm gonna take my Cody Airspun. It has a little bit of the Derma Blend kind of mixed in from before in the cap. I'm gonna put this in the cap. I did get a new one of these recently. I picked up a new one. And I'm just gonna mix the two powders together. Again, this is a mixture of the Cody Airspun and the Derma Blend because I had some left over and I just put it back in here. All right, we're gonna take the e.l.f. flat top powder brush. I'm gonna dip my brush into this powder, coating the brush completely, and then tapping off the excess. And we're gonna go in and set my face. I already kind of have creasing under my eyes, so, which I don't mind. And my eyelids are already creasing. So let me just smooth that out with my finger. And then I'm gonna go in and set this side. I'm pressing this powder into the skin. And doing the same thing, tapping off the excess. I like to like rotate the brush while I do that. And then go in and press it into the skin. And I'm gonna do the same process all over my face. Dip it in, tap off the excess, press the powder into the skin. To set the makeup in place. And by pressing the powder, you don't disturb, um, you don't move the foundation underneath, which is a major key for people that need coverage like I do because of the acne scarring that I have. So I don't wanna move my foundation around underneath. And the little bit of powder that I have in here, it's more than enough to do my whole face. Let you see I kind of start in the center, work my way out to the perimeter. I really love Cody Airspun powder. It makes my makeup last all day, all night with that with minimal touch-ups. That's what I love about it. It's like I don't get too greasy, I don't get shiny, I don't get oily. It's like set it and forget it when I use my Cody Airspun, which is why I love this powder so much. And it's only like six bucks. It's so inexpensive. And I use the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. And you can see it doesn't give flashback. On my computer, everything looks like it's making me ashy. It makes it look like it has flashback. But if you watch other YouTubers that have like better equipment and better camera quality, you'll see that they don't look ashy and it doesn't give flashback. Like right now, I look crazy. I look crazy on camera. But in person, it looks beautiful. And it just gives you a nice, flawless, smooth finish. I am interested to try the LA Colors um, translucent setting powder that they have because I watched I believe Ivy Deer or Oh Dear Ivy Ivy I know her name is Ivy I watched her video when she reviewed this foundation and she used that powder she used a few other products from LA Girl and it looks so good on her and it didn't give her flashbacks so I want to try their um, translucent powder and with whatever's just left over in the cap you see I'll just keep pressing and patting it into the skin just to make sure everything's set. Don't forget around the perimeter of your head. Don't forget near your ears. Don't forget under your chin, especially under the chin if you don't want your makeup to transfer onto people's clothes or onto your own clothes or just onto anything. All right, so now that my foundation is set, whatever's left over in the cap, if there is anything, like I barely have any powder left over, I just tap it back into the sifter, like so, put the cap on. You can see it flying through the air. The only thing about like Cody Airspun or just loose setting powders in general is that they are kind of messy, but I find that they set my makeup better than pressed powders for the most part. Now I'm gonna take the brush I use to apply the foundation and with whatever foundation is left over on it, 
that moisture will help to kind of set the powder and like take away a little bit of the powdery finish. And since it has foundation left over on it, it kind of um, puts just a little bit of color back into the skin. And I just literally pressed that brush all over my face. And because these brushes are so high quality, it doesn't really soak up too much product. So it's not as moist as if I were using a damp beauty blender. It's actually not really moist at all, but I don't know. I just like to do this just to mesh everything together. All right, so now the face is set. It looks nice and smooth and even. The skin is even. We have a nice, even, flawless face. Let's move on to, I have no idea what kind of look I wanna do. I kinda of wanna try a bunch of new products, as many new products as I possibly can. Um, so we're gonna move on to the skin, finishing up the skin. And I'm gonna go into the It's My Ray Ray palette in collaboration with BH Cosmetics. I really, really, really have been enjoying this palette. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so we're gonna highlight and I've been using Radiant because I love that shade Radiant in here. That's the middle highlight shade right here. But let's use French Toast. I haven't really given French Toast, I feel, a fair shot or a fair chance to be used alone on my skin. And that's the one that she kind of made geared towards people with deeper skin tones or with deeper skin tones in mind for um, us to highlight with. But Radiant looks great on deeper skin too. I mean, obviously, because I wear it. I love it. So I'm just going to wipe off this brush. It is her number four brush or collaboration with BH Cosmetics. I'm getting like light and dark. Sometimes I'm kind of light, sometimes I'm dark. Like the lighting is weird, but when it's this bright, it makes my face look like it's so much lighter than my body, but I promise it's not. I know it looks off, but I promise you in person, it's not off at all. Whatevs, I'm over it. So we're gonna take this number four brush. <laughs> from her collab and the shade French Toast, which is the deepest highlight shade. And I'm gonna highlight with that. I have limited space up here. I'm trying to like get everything organized. Put the water over there. I, do, I really do feel out of breath, which is like, I haven't been moving. I'm sitting down while I feel out of breath. Hey, little girl. Pretty girl. Yeah, mama. She's just looking at me. I'm like, why are you holding me captive in here? So I'm just gonna load that highlight up on my brush and I'm going to just pat that onto, ignore the pimples I have right here. I've been breaking out. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm gonna pat that onto the cheekbone. And then I'm going to kind of swipe it. Well, swiping gives a lot of pigmentation. Again, this is the shade French Toast. Just ignore this like row of pimples that I have going right through here. We're going to turn those into molds so that we don't destroy this look. Wow, that's really pretty. Okay, okay, okay. I see you, French Toast, French Toast. People above me are vacuuming. I wonder if you guys can hear that. It's loud. Wow, that's so pretty. I'm loving this shade. Ooh, just look at that. Can we just, yes, it's my Ray Ray BH Cosmetics. We're gonna use the same shade to highlight the brow bone while we're here. I'm kind of like pressing it into the brow bone, especially since I don't have my brows done yet. Just press it on in there. We're gonna do a very simple eye look. I think I'm gonna use her palette for my eyes again today and do another look because i think we're gonna be wearing some more riri on the lips today oh 
Oh, 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 brow. Ooh, pop. Ooh, pop. Ooh. Okay. And we're going to use the same brush to do the bridge of the nose. I really like this brush for highlighting because I find that it is tapered enough to where I can actually get just the bridge in my nose, like right down the center. I love that about this brush. Again, this is the number four brush. Yo. This shade is beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, 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 hey. And the cubits bow. And I'm not going to contour with her contour palette. Y'all have seen me use the contours. So today we're going to skip out on the contour shades. Even though I really do enjoy all of the um, face products that she has in here. I have not used the lightest highlighter yet. We might find a way to use that today. We'll see. Just depending on how I feel. But yeah, I'm loving French toast. This is beautiful on the skin. I feel like it's making me look alive it's making me look healthy haha <laughs> which i don't feel at all but there we go we are highlighted with her palette let's move on to the brows for my brows i'm using the wet and wild retractable eyeliner pencil you guys already know there's a hair on it a dog hair it's blonde nola's blonde kind of would you call her blonde sandy she's sandy there we go that's the color of her fur. She's sandy. We're going to go ahead and do the brows. Oops. I already feel like I'm messing up. It's okay, though. So I'm kind of outlining them first and then I like to go ahead and just go ahead and do the tail right now. <laughs> yeah, they look crazy. Make sure I'm breathing. I have the tendency to stop breathing, like to not take, I guess, full breaths sometimes. Like I hold my breath. I don't know what that, what that is about, but I notice that I do that sometimes when I'm doing my makeup. Or like I did that when I had to get swabbed um, for influenza and they like stick it up your nose, way up your nose, you know? I was like holding my breath that entire time. I was like, I don't know why I'm doing that. The nurse was laughed. The nurse practitioner, whatever her official title is, the lady who did the swab, who's not like a doctor doctor. Um, she was like laughing at me. She's like, you're so aware of what your body's doing. I'm like, it's because I'm a musician. So I'm aware of like breathing and things like that. And when I'm not breathing properly, like, I'm also very aware of my posture. Like right now, I'm not sitting up straight. If I were to sit up with perfectly good straight posture, looking forward, this is what I would look like. But I'm kind of like hunkered over slouch down I think I need another cup of coffee I've noticed that like taking a hot shower does help me feel a little bit better um, and then drinking a cup of coffee usually helps me feel a little bit better <laughs> since I've been sick but it's like the timing of how I do things has to be like just right or my body just like rejects everything. It's like if I don't 
drink a cup of coffee within like the first 30 minutes of me being awake then I get sick and I throw up like it's just been a hot mess I don't know so I'm gonna drink another cup of coffee hopefully after I do my makeup and I should that should really help me like feel better and push through to work so my brows are almost all the way done being filled in. I love how dark they are. I'm gonna use the smudger side of this Wet n Wild Retractable Eyeliner Pencil to smudge the fronts of my brows. It's kind of like using a spoolie to soften it up like you see people do. I'm gonna use that to like blend out the front. You see how that adds a gradient? I've been loving this. Look at my brows. You know who I think is just so naturally beautiful? Latoya Forever is just so pretty to me. She don't even need makeup. She's so gorgeous. Like I was watching her like get ready with me and she was talking about how she likes square brows in the front. I also prefer square brows in the front. And I'm just like looking at her with no foundation on, like no makeup. She's just so pretty. And her family is beautiful and I just can't believe how her kids are speaking because like I remember when Samia was born and now like she's saying full sentences like her personality is coming out. It's just I just love watching people's families grow up. I love pictures. You guys know how much I love pictures and I don't know I like people that share like that let you into their life. I don't know I like watching people grow like change and flourish. It's awesome. Makes me happy. I feel like it like it gives me hope like one day, you know, hopefully I'll be watching my kids' personalities come out and watching them talk and speak in full sentences and hopefully they don't dip my beauty blenders in oil like that happened to a toy forever. Please don't do that, future children. Do not take mom's makeup and makeup application tools and dip them in oil and mess them up. If you want to help me wash them, cool. Okay, cool. I'll take that, but don't destroy them. So yeah. I also love this little sponge tip because it has like a straight edge that you can use to like sharpen up your brows and like kind of clean them up like people do with concealer to like really sharpen them up. I feel like I can get that same effect using the tip of the sponge because it's such a straight edge like y'all see. I feel like my brows look so clean and neat and I don't use all that stuff. Like I don't conceal them and all that. I feel like it's just not necessary. Okay. All right. So I feel like the brows are done. I'm just going to go over the front with a little bit of whatever leftover powder is on here from powdering my face just to kind of further soften them up making sure that they're kind of symmetrical they look fine moving on brows are done let's move on to the eyes like I said I think I'm gonna use this eyeshadow palette um, I have a newer I shadow palette that came and I got the Morphe 35P and I really want to do lots of purple looks. I've been so into purple um, for like the past month, this end of the year. So I'll do looks with that. There's also a purple look I really want to do with the, it's my Ray Ray palette, but it's not going to match the lip color I'm doing today. So we're going to put the purple on pause. Did I, I meant to use this. We'll be featuring this in another video. It has blush and highlighters in it. I may to use this today with the foundation, but we'll use this in another video. This is also from LA Curl Colors. It's their So Cheeky Blush and Highlight Palette in Hot and Spicy. I love the colors in here. I think they'll really complement my skin tone. So we'll use this when I do the purple look, actually. That'll be perfect. I might be doing the purple look later this week. I don't want to do it tomorrow because I have a dress chosen for my birthday. I need to try it on and make sure it fits. Because if the green dress doesn't fit, then I'll wear the black dress. And then I'll do the purple look with the black dress. So I need to figure that out. Okay. Woosa, woosa. Just patting my head. 
I can probably take this off now. Oh yeah, we're good. So my hair is gonna have a little bit of frizz to it. Like I said, I didn't like wet it, wet it down. But this is the protective style I've been doing. Oh, you can see my braid peeking through the end of it. Yeah, she's moisturized, she's oiled up. My scalp feels so much better now because she was itching earlier. She was itchy, but yeah, hair looks good. This is how I wear my hair tomorrow. It's not how I wanted to wear my hair for my birthday, but it is what it is. I've been sick. This is easy, low maintenance hairstyle. What we were gonna do? What we what we were gonna do? So I need to still use the LA Colors So Cheeky palette. I still need to do some more looks with the Morphe 39A. I've been loving that. There's a green look I want to do with that. Love. I love that palette. So I need to use my Morphe 35P, but we're gonna use the It's My Ray Ray today on the eyes. Let's see what kind of look we do. It's gonna be something very simple, very easy, very neutral because we're doing a red lip. So yeah, um, we're gonna be able to use some shades I haven't used yet either, which will be good. We're gonna go in with the shade Control Freak in the crease. Control Freak. It's this one right here. So y'all can see that. Y'all can see my computer. And this palette has a mirror. And we're going to use, I want to try and use her brushes. But your girl really can't see. I really need to wear my glasses, y'all. I have lots of issues. Can you tell? <laughs> but I'm blessed. I'm really happy. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Maybe because I'm like talking, I'm doing my makeup. I'm distracting myself from my ailments. Well, is asleep on the bed. She's being a good girl. So yeah, we're gonna take that shade Control Freak on her number six brush, and we're gonna place that color into the crease. It's like a warm brown. Ooh, it's like a warm orangey brown. That's pretty. This brush is so soft for blending stuff into your crease. So soft. These shadows are so pigmented. But yeah, this brush is so soft. Like it just makes you want to just keep putting stuff in your crease, even when the color is already there because they're pigmented. I could just like, walk around doing this all day because it feels so good. And do y'all see how like smooth and poreless my skin is looking? That LA Girl foundation is, it looks good y'all. And you notice I only put the Fenty on the outer part. The center of my face is all LA Girl, so. And the center of my face is also where I get oily. My nose, T-zone area, so. I feel like we're gonna get a decent test even though I did technically mix it with another foundation. So just keep that in mind. I'll keep y'all updated on how it holds up Tomorrow I will be doing a video of my 25th birthday look that I do tomorrow morning unless I somehow end up super ill and can't make it to work but I am not speaking that into existence. I will be fine tomorrow. I will be able to go to work. I will be able to be a good music teacher. I will be, I'm not going to say I'm going to be 100% healthy. I don't really think that's realistic with how I'm feeling but I'll be healthy enough to go to work and be a productive citizen. I really like the shade Control Freak as a transition shade and in my crease, this is really pretty. Okay, I really like this shade a lot. Yo, that's really pretty. Um, my lips are feeling a little crusty crust. So we're gonna go home with the Buxom Big O Power Plump Lip Balm. while I'm working on my eyes, just to get my lips prepared for the Stunna lip paint that we're gonna put on. We're gonna see how that looks on my skin tone. I'm pretty much like an NW4748-ish 48 -ish in there, you know? So, let's see what, what shade we're gonna use next. I'm gonna go in with, do we wanna do that or do we not? Do we, are we gonna go there or are we not? 
I know I'm like having a whole conversation with myself y'all are like what is she probably what is she talking about we're gonna take a little bit of the shade black beauty black beauty black beauty black beauty black beauty hey do I want to do that though or do I want to keep it really soft on the eyes I kind of want to keep it soft on the eyes never mind and we're not gonna use black beauty we're gonna take some more control freak let's just add more control freak because I really like in this shade I feel like it gets a little bit deeper on the eyes. I don't know if y'all are seeing this. I'm gonna add more. I'm really gonna focus it kind of like on the outer portion of my lid as well with this same brush. I don't want the lids to get too dark or smoky because the lips are gonna be popping. Okay, we're gonna take the shade Allison. I'm gonna figure out where the other brush is of hers that I wanna use. I don't see it. I was like, ooh, something smells good. It's my armpit. <laughs> my armpit smells really good. So I took a shower. Um, we're gonna take the shade Allison. I'll show it to you in just a second. I need to clean this brush off because it's covered in teal, turquoise, topaz goodness from when I did my December birthstone look. Yeah, it's it's, it's in there. She's she's really stuck on there. Um, it's okay though. I think it'll be fine. So here's the shade Allison. It's one of the shimmers. It's the second to lightest shimmer right there. We're going to put that all over the lid using this brush. We'll see how it applies with the number eight brush from the It's My Ray Ray collab collection. Allison. Ooh, that's really pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. And it applies really nice with the brush. So yeah, I'm gonna pack that all over the lid. And I'm gonna use this brush to kind of blend it out too. I want something really like soft and shimmery for my lid and this is perfect. And I'm just patting the brush into it and I'm getting such nice pigmentation. And I'm not like swiping my brush into the shadow. I'm literally just like pressing it on, like tapping it on and then tapping it onto my lid. I still think this is a great gift for the women in your life because of how easily these shadows apply and blend and just like the colors that they have, you can create so many different looks. It's a great value. Wow, that's really pretty. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the brush that I use for the crease that has that shade control freak on it. I'm not gonna add any more shadow to it. I'm just gonna use it to lightly blend around the edges of this look. Like so. Who that? Oh. please don't ask me if I'm pregnant people are like I'm just tired of people asking me if I'm pregnant because I've been sick and throwing up and stuff are you pregnant no I'm not pregnant I don't do the activities in order to get pregnant so it's not a thing right now in my life Okay, I'm, I'm calm. I'm good. We're back. So <laughs> we're going to take the shade Angel, which is the lightest shimmer shade in the eyeshadows. I'm going to put that in my inner corners. So let's just do it. Let's see what happens. And I'm going to use little, this little brush. Oh, she has a brush I can use. I don't feel like getting it like at this point. We're going to use this brush from Coastal Sense. Sorry, BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to apply this Angel shade into the inner corners of my eye. People have been snapping me left and right. Like, why is that your first response? 
Could you not, can you start with are you okay first? How about that? Oh yeah, this is really pretty in the inner corners. And it's actually like a white gold. It's not, I thought it was gonna be like straight up white, like a shimmery white shade, but it's more of like a white gold. This is beautiful. So I'm putting that in the inner, you see that? That's pretty, that's, that's gorgeous. Yeah, that's really nice. And with the same brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Control Freak, which is what is in our crease and on the outer parts of the eye. We're gonna smudge some of that on the bottom lash line using the same old brush. That warm orangey brown. stomach is making all sorts of sounds which is really funny because um i'll be asleep and nola she sleeps like right next to me or she'll sleep like on top of me kind of and my stomach will make a sound and it'll wake her up and she'll just like stare at my stomach like this and turn her head sideways like looking at my stomach like why is it making noise <laughs> like i'm digesting food nola it's digestion Okay, so that's it for the eye look with this palette. Like, it's super simple. Um, I've done another simple look, but it was more, like, warm than this one. This one's more super neutral. Um, I don't even want to add liner. We're just going to do mascara, but let me set my brows. I'm going to use this old Black Radiance Eye Appeal Lasting Mascara to just make sure my brows don't move. I'm going to run that through real quick. just to keep the hairs all in place. And then let's use some mascara. What mascara do I wanna use? Let's use the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. I feel like this isn't as bad as I thought it was now that it's maybe it's dried up a little bit or whatever, but I'm just gonna layer it on. Naziha posted a picture, I love Naziha. Naziha and I have been friends since we were in seventh grade. And she just had her birthday. All right, so we're gonna go on with the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. And I'm gonna really build it up. We're gonna do several layers of this mascara. Yeah, my hair has some frizz to it, but I kind of like the way it's looking. It's looking like, like a little bit more messy, rustic-er, more rustic. Um, what is the word I'm looking for? More um, hipster-ish, you know, add some flowers to it, like a bar gram, you know. It's giving me more like hipster vibes. Carefree black girl. Okay, so we're gonna consider that one coat. We're probably gonna go on with like three coats, maybe four. This mascara, so I can really get my lashes how I want them to be. You just have to be careful with this wand because if you like go in too hard and poke your actual 
body it kind of hurts because it's kind of sharp but the good thing about that is it doesn't leave any clumps like if you don't like clumpy lashes you'll like this mascara because it like leaves no clumps whatsoever because it's like little combs literally combs as the mascara wand like Sean combs Sean P. Diddy combs This is probably like one of the most natural looks I've ever worn to lurk, work, lurk, lurk, work. Natural looks I've worn to work. So basic, but the lip is what's going to set it off. It's going to be popping. This lip is going to be popping. I'll need to turn these into holes. We'll do that in between coats. We're still on coat number one. For the upper lashes let's do the lower lashes and then we'll turn these pimples over here into some moles So that's coat number one for top and lower lashes. So to turn my pimples and moles, I literally use some liquid eyeliner. Got this tip trick from Desi Perkins. Love her. So I'm taking this wet and wild felt tip. And some of these are actual moles. But this big one is the main one that we want to disguise. Because she's quite massive. This side's looking pretty good. We have one tiny little one right here. Okay. Do, 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 do. I don't think if there's anything else I really want to add to this look. No, nope, we're not going to do any blush. Like I said, we're keeping it super simple today because the lips are going to be pow. I have a feeling this color is going to be really, really, really bright on me, which I'm not opposed to. Let's go on with layer number two of this mascara. Um, I have swatched it on my hand. Actually, the last time I went to work, what day was that? Friday? Yeah. I had it swatched on my hand and I swatched a few lipsticks that people were saying might be dupes or that are comparable to it. And I'll, I'll talk about it when we get there in just a second. Let me finish my lashes so I don't lose my train of thought. But the lipstick I'm talking about is the Fenty Beauty Lip Stun the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. Which is a red. I'm sure everyone has seen it. I'm sure you've heard about it if you like makeup. And I got one for my sister and I got one for my sister for Christmas. Just cause I always, I've been getting her like all her Fenty stuff cause I know she won't get it for herself. And I know that she's, you know, she's in college. She doesn't work so. She's just the kind of person that can only focus on school. So I try to get her stuff when I can. That I think she'll like and enjoy just so she can have it so that's what sisters should do big sisters but um yeah I got two I haven't worn it yet on my lips but I did swatch it on my hand because I was so excited to see the shade on my skin tone it's advertised as like a universal red that looks good on every skin tone but I feel like red is a bold color so people that don't like bold lips are probably already not even gonna really like it 
and it looks um, a little bit deeper on people that are lighter skin compared to on people that are darker skin it pops more because we're deeper we have more pigment in our skin so the pigmentation comes off a lot brighter me I don't mind a bright bright red lip but I don't like a bright orange red lip and to me an orange red lip that a lot of people have been comparing it to saying that they're dupes for each other which I don't feel like they are because when I swatch them in my hand they look different I'm done we're only doing two coats of mascara your girl ain't got the energy for that I'm already feeling out of breath again is um Too Faced Lady Balls this is what it looks like Jackie Ina wears this all the time she's the one who actually made me want to buy this and I feel like this shade on its own on my lips is too bright. It is, it's like an orange red, like a fire engine hot red orange. And I don't like that on my skin tone personally. I feel like it looks kind of clownish, kind of cartoonish, a little just too much. But I do like a bright, a very bright blue based red, which I feel like the Fenty has more of a blue undertone to it. Which is why I think I will like Uncensored on my lips alone more than I like this alone. And just so you can see the difference, I am going to swatch them both on my hand again today. And I'll go into work with swatches. So this is Too Faced Lady Balls. Put her over here. So that's Too Faced Lady Balls, okay? We need to let it dry. This is the Fenty packaging. It looks just like all her other packaging. It's really nice, really cute. Colors uncensored, right there on top. See the red? It's packaged really, really well. You take the little top piece off, you take it out. It looks like a little nail polish. It's really pretty. I'm sure you've seen this already here. Again, it's packaging. This is the last time I'm going to show it. I'm going to throw this packaging away. It says, one stroke intensity, 12 hour matte wear, unrivaled precision wand. That's what it claims to do. Those claims are right there in different languages. I feel like I should read it. Is this Spanish? I think this is Spanish. Massima intensita in una sola pasata. Tenuta opaca per 12 ore. Fantistico applicatore di precisione. Is that good? I don't know. Tell me below. I like to read things in Spanish. Shake is a shake before use. I haven't seen anybody really say that. So we're shaking. <gasps> Did I break my mirror? Please, no. Oh, I didn't break it. Y'all know I went through a little phase where I was breaking mirrors left and right. This end of the year has been interesting but yeah I didn't break so I'm good I have a backup somewhere though all right we're gonna swatch it on my hand so we can see the comparison to Too Faced Lady Balls my lips are pretty moisturized I'm just kissing off the excess balm So let's swatch this on the hand. Again, this is the packaging. Here's the wand. It's very liquidy. I'm gonna swatch it right next to it. So you see how it's darker? This is Uncensored Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint and that is Too Faced Lady Balls. You see how that one's darker? I feel like I'm going to like that alone on my lips because it's darker and it's more blue-based red. This one's more like orangey red. So they are different. Um, here's what they look like from afar. Let's let it dry on my hand. I will tell you right now, I know for a fact that this does not dry all the way down matte kiss-proof. Like it, it transfers a little bit, but it still stays on your lips for the most part. So it, I, I do think it will be long wearing. It's one o'clock right now. I've been making this video for exactly an hour and I've done a complete look. Look at that, that never happens, right? But I did a really simple look. So let's apply this to lips. I haven't worn it on my lips yet, so let's see what happens.
Um. So that's one coat. That's without me dipping back in. And I honestly feel like the pigmentation in my lips is still showing through a little bit. I'm also not sure how I feel about the applicator. Oh, my lips look really big. I thought they look a lot bigger than what they really are. I like the shade though. I'm not, I like this without a liner or anything. I will say that. I think it looks great on my skin tone. I had a feeling it would just from the swatch. But I can still see the pigmentation of my lips showing through. Y'all might not be able to see it. But I can. I'm gonna go on with another layer. <laughs> Breathe. I'm actually sure breathe. Yeah, two layers is good. Okay. So yeah, that's with two layers. I like it with two layers. It is very bright. But I feel like it because it is more blue based, it looks more just like a bright red instead of like orange red. Oh again, this is it hasn't dried down yet. On my lips. Um, precision application, because it is so liquidy, you can run into where it like gets, where it gets a little bit too much in certain places, like around the edges for me, it's not as perfect as I want it to be. And I'm like, what can I do to fix that without? My stomach just growled. And I want to push them together. It's okay, it's not, you see like that one little divot, look, we're just right there. It's bothering me a little bit, but it doesn't look bad. It definitely makes your teeth look very 
very white. My stomach is making noise. Very, very, very white. Yeah. I like the shade on my skin. But like I said, if you're not into bright lips, you might not like it. Can y'all see? Can you see me? Um, yeah, I'm not really sure about that wand. I prefer just like a regular old wand. I feel like would work. Um, I think it looks good. That's, is it worth the $24? I don't really think so. Like there's other liquid red lipsticks that you could get, you know. This is what they look like dry, the two colors. You can still see the difference. It's like Fenty on this side, Too Faced on this side. Too Faced on this side. Lady Ball, no, Lady Ball's on this side. Fenty Beauty on this side. You can still see the difference between the two. Similar, but slightly different. This one has just a little bit more orange to it. This one has more blue base to it. Um, do I really think it's worth the $24? No, not really, but if you like want it, like I really wanted it, and you know it's Rihanna's first red lipstick that she released, I want to be able to have it. And I want my sister to have it, and then go get it. But do I think you absolutely need it? No. It's my Ray Ray palette. Love. I think everybody should have that. What else did I? This, ooh, this uh, LA Girl Pro Carnation is looking beautiful on the skin. If you can find your shade, go get that too. It's $6. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is the look for today. Like I said, something super simple, super easy, holiday, simple, glam, keeping it easy, breezy, and beautiful. There we go. The lighting is a little bit brighter. Let me know what you think of the look. I promise my face matches my body. Let me know what other looks you want to see. And I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video. Let me know what you think about this red on me. I think it looks great with no liner. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And please pray that I get 100% better. With that being said, I appreciate you. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And I'll see you tomorrow on my birthday for my birthday look. Bye, YouTube.